Coach, just, I mean, it, it, obviously the competition is part of it, but when you look at the film, what did you like from, from what you saw the other night? Uh, Lenore Ryan game? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I felt like um, guys, I thought from the beginning, they, they, the approach was where it needed to be. Uh, you, you saw guys uh, take steps in, in areas where we talked about on film, and, and I thought some of the young guys that came in, they came in with the right mindset, came in to guard, and they did a lot of a lot of really good things on the defensive side and, and the offensive side of the ball. But you know, mainly the, the defensive side is where you know, the attention was, was placed. Playing faster has been a big kind of talking point for you guys. How do y'all do that while maintaining the way y'all play defense? Yeah, that's the challenge, right? Because it's going to be a lot more possessions, or hopefully more possessions. And um, you know, is is the defense is going to be spread out a little bit more, I think. Um, and then you know, we have to rely on our depth, I think, and, and and to help us maintain that intensity. So, telling guys, hey, two minutes spurts, two hard minutes spurts, and now yeah, we get somebody else in, we just kind of keep rotating. But I, I do think that will be the challenge to maintain that intensity with the um, with the pace on the offensive end. And, a lot more threes are going up, so you got longer rebounds. Um, all of that stuff is affected into it. I was having Santi back, and I assume he's a guy that you got right back to speed the days back. Doesn't really need the time to get back in the field. Yeah, well, we, you know, we didn't practice yesterday, so we were off. So today will be his first day back to practice. But I, I don't anticipate, you know, I mean, this is year five to sign, and uh, you know, he, he, you know, he, he's on autopilot right now, like from a sense of. He knows what to do, what to expect uh, with the same anymore. So uh, I, 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 I expect to see what you know, flow this transition. What type of transition will it be for Jordan and Dalton? Like maybe carrying a little bit bigger of a load in the two exhibitions, and, and then what will it be like for them when Zakai and Santi are back? Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, um, you know, I, I think the advantage to having such a deep team is you know hopefully they don't change their approach they continue to be aggressive on that side of the ball and be confident and uh, obviously they, they have to continue defensively to uh, to be you know to, to, to grow and, and to continue to come in that direction but um, I hope is there's no adjustment for them that they continue to bring it at that level um, Santi and Z bringing it at their level, and I, I think that's the recipe for the team that we all um, hope to see that you know has big time success in the regular season and, and afterwards. I know you were Jordan like every other player, but how fun has it been having him here with you at, at Tennessee? Yeah, it, it's been fun when I have a chance to kind of sit back and look at it, but you know when you're in the mix and you're in, you in it every single day. Um, you know, there is a level of emotion, a level of anxiety that comes with it. You know, as a parent, um, you know, through different processes of growth, you don't always have to witness. And um, especially in athletics, a lot of times, you know, you have other coaches that, you know, they have to struggle through and they have to work through and have the good times through as well. Uh, but when you are the coach and your dad, you go through all the growing pains and all the excitement. So. Uh, needless to say, it's been an emotional roller coaster for me. But um, you know, it's, it's 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 been it's been fun. Coach, what's what's the difference in working in somebody like Dalton or Jordan who's you know played at, at, at you know major college basketball before, as opposed to a freshman? What's the difference when you integrate those people into your program? That's a great question. You know, for for an, an older guy like like those two guys, they've been through the fire. They they've been through college basketball. And there's nothing you can do to simulate it. And the thing I would say about Dalton and Jordan, um, coming from where they're coming from, it's probably not a lot they haven't seen. You know, I know people talk about the level and this and that, but on the flip side, I would say it's not a lot of guys that's been game playing for the way those two guys probably were game playing for. Them. You know, I mean, I, they've seen boxing ones. They've seen every defense you can think of to take them completely out of the game because where they came from, they were so important to the success of that team. Um, and, and so I, I think that that's prepared them. I think that's hardened them. And I think to an, a, an extent, like they're relieved to have more help around them to take some of that off. I think with a freshman, you can't simulate uh, preseason from high school to college. You can't simulate 
the game planning that goes on at the college level when you compare it to the offense. It's, it's something you have to go through. It's something you have to experience. Regardless of how good of a basketball program you come from, there's always gonna be that learning curve. And so that that is what I would say the, the, the main difference is. And that's no knock on high school coaching, coaches or whatever, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's just different. You know, it's it, the level of preparation, the resources, all, all of those things factor in. Uh, makes it a, a much different transition. Coach Barn said during the Michigan State game that he never seen Dalton put as much energy into defense as he did in that game. Right. Uh, in his time here, how have you seen Dalton's defense evolve and get better? Um, yeah, I, I, I've seen a sense of um, you know his his desire, his the care factor on that side of the ball has grown, and the understanding of how important it is to uh, not only to himself, but to his teammates, everybody's counting on him. And so when he blows a defensive coverage in practice, um, somebody's gonna hold him accountable. Somebody's gonna <clears throat> say something to him. And I, I don't know if he's ever um, felt that, dealt with that before. And he's not a selfish guy, he's not a selfish player. And so the, the, um, the toughest thing I think for all athletes is when your peers, when your teammates are, confront you on certain things. And so when, when that happens, it takes your level of attention uh, in whatever area it is they're correcting you on to a, to a whole nother level. And so I think he has embraced that. He hasn't pointed fingers. He understands that's where he's got to get better. And to his credit, he has, um, he, he's, he's worked on it and, and he's, he's been better. Where's Freddie at right now? And coach talked about this summer kind of needing to find how to get him fired up. Is that still an ongoing search with him? Um, you know what, Freddie is, again, all, all guys are different. You know, his demeanor is, is different. Like, uh, the thing you love about him, he never gets too high, he never gets too low. Um, you know, sometimes I think you would like to see him a little more, uh, especially that position, a little more fiery. I thought we saw a glimpse of that in the Michigan State game where, you know, I think the guy uh, tried to, you know, take the ball out from him and, you know, it, 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 it sparked him a little bit. And so, um, I, I think for him understanding that maybe it's not for me that for him that he has to you know show that emotion sometimes, but it, it also shows gives the team confidence and that you know you're you're you know you're playing you're at a certain level from an intensity standpoint. And so it's something we'll work with him again. It's it's his human nature to be kind of uh, even even kill, but uh, you know that's that's obviously another area we have to team to grow. Clear point. After Michigan State, where you were able to sit back, like you said, and enjoy Jordan's success that he had in that game, the way he started and the way he finished it as a dad. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, as as you watch film, you 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 uh, you know you, you kind of get to and, you know you enjoy it, right? You enjoy it, and uh, he he drove me crazy in the, at the free throw line, you know, uh, and then that last free throw I couldn't even watch it, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I was I was in dad mode on that last free throw. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it, I did. I did. It, it was it was good to see him, uh, you know, have some success. And but the coach in me knows that there's more and there's some areas that you know we've talked about and, and we are continue to work on with him uh, for him to you know continue to develop. Last question from Mike: Is there is a high update on where he's at in terms of returning? Um, I don't know. I hadn't talked to Chad today, so I, I'm not sure. I, I, you know, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I anticipate him to, to be in practice today and doing kind of what he, what he normally does. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.